You guys won't believe what Anna just said. Anna, get back here and tell them what you just told me. Come here. No, hey, no, I, we need to talk. Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. There's almost always a rise of break-ins during the holiday season, which is why now Simply Safe is having their best sale ever. Get 30% off and a free HD camera with any order. She talks. <laughs> I noticed two very disturbing things here this morning. Number one, it's not 60 degrees out anymore. It's actually in the lower 20s and we got a couple inches of snow. Once again, this right here is why we hurry in the fall. Because it's 60 degrees one day and the next day we've got this. That's, I, that's not, somebody else must have been in my truck. The second disturbing thing is that after our brutal 50 mile an hour winds here all day long, the flag up at the church has seen better days. So, I'm going to fix it. What's going on up there? I'm gonna need a ladder. Dang good thing I brought this portable Chevy ladder with me. There we go. The swivel hooks had frozen on that thing, so this thing couldn't fly freely. Got twisted up on one of the hooks and destroyed. And there's my phone. Much better. Now, I gotta run to the post office anyway, so I will respectfully dispose of the flag there. Yeah. Not at the post office, but the Legion next door has a drop off. I'm not gonna give the flag to the people that have handled the mail that. Now because we were in a hurry a few days ago trying to wrap up as much as we could before well, this hit and the weather got cold, we didn't finish transferring corn. We've got a few bins that we want to pull out of and we got this bin empty right here. So I'm going to core some of the bins, get rid of the fines in them, put them in this bin here so we can kind of slowly blend it off with our good corn when we start hauling out. It's been really nice though to catch up in the office for a couple days and hide inside while the weather was bad. Too dusty to see in there, but we got corn moving. That's good. A lot of people, especially non-farmers, wouldn't believe it, but this time of year is actually really busy. We have a lot of planning to do. We gotta figure out what seed we're gonna plant, how our acres are gonna be split, what we're gonna do with the individual fields and what we wanna plant where. Then we gotta make sure that we pay for the fertilizer that we put on a lot of those fields. And we gotta get a chemical plan in place to make sure that we have the right chemistry around to manage those acres next summer. All of that is done now, and a lot of it, quite honestly, during harvest, you're already planning for next year. So before the first of the year, we will have all that figured out. And of course, with all of that planning stuff comes balance sheets and cash flows and all kinds of financial projections that we wanna to put together for ourselves and for the bankers to make sure that we have a really good idea of where we're at and how we performed over the last year and where we go from here. Honestly, it's like any other business. I mean, no other business would function blindly and just assume that they know where they're at without having a plan. Farming is no different. We gotta make sure we plan correctly. I hate to get these trucks dirty when they just got washed, but hey, Got to get it done. We knew they'd get dirty again anyway. We've got just a couple of loads to go up to a local elevator to be ground for feed for one of our landlords that has cattle. And then uh, next week we've got four loads to go down to the ethanol plant. Those are scheduled deals. Uh, they're going to happen no matter what the roads are like. Did you pump? What are you so high energy for? I think I've changed my mind here. Snow's getting a little sticky. I think I'll load a second truck and I'll haul these in the morning when the roads are cold so I don't make a disastrous mess out of the clean trucks. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Good job, Zach. No, we didn't buy the 8RX or the quad track, but I am thinking about buying that strip tiller. Where were you? 
crab walking dog. Going in. And while I let that continue to trance over, trans transfer, trance over, trance over for a little bit, I'm gonna run in the house and grab a couple security items to set up in the messy shed. We call it the race shed. It's the toy box. It's where we work on a lot of things that don't pertain to farming. It's quite the collection of stuff here. Now this shed needs a lot of cleaning, so don't judge me, it'll happen. But this is basically the shop where we work on everything else. This used to be a farm shop, but now with a 10 foot door, you can't get anything else in here. Oops. So the rest of this goes to the main shop. This is the Simply Safe system that I installed in the race shed here before harvest. And I just didn't get a chance to finish setting everything up, so we ordered a few more pieces that I wanted for the shop here. Now I'm gonna install it into the race shop, we call it, and then into the house now that we're finally sort of finalizing harvest here. But everything is super easy. You order it online or right over your phone. They deliver it right to your house. There's no contracts. You can monitor it 24 seven through the cell phone app. That's what I like to do. I log into my app and see what the temperature is in the room and make sure there's no shenanigans going on. See right here. If you look closely, you'll see in our main shop, right here there's a, there's a creepy dude in a brown coat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him. Hey. What? That never gets old. Obviously it's cool to have a camera where I can jump on right there and I can push the button and actually talk to somebody that's in the shop, but they also have freeze sensors. They've got water sensors, both of which we've had issues with in the past. So now we've got everything censored up or will have in this shop anyway, to make sure that if the temperature drops or we have a water leak or a pipe break or something, it's covered right away. They've got the glass sensors, they got the motion detectors, they got the door alarms, smoke alarms, carbon monoxide. It's pretty awesome. A few people have mentioned that they've noticed the sign at the end of our driveway. Yes, we get some random strangers that pop in here every once in a while and a couple of them have given us the wrong vibe. And with my kids around and my wife here, I'm not that comfortable with that. I better go check this corn. I'll give it 10 to 15 more minutes. Ooh. Welcome, Mr. Johnson. Welcome to Simply Safe. Now, to activate the command center. Do I just pull? Yep. Now all I have to do is go through all my sensors and sync them up and give them a name. So I got my glass break sensor glass here. Glass break sensor. So it found now, it. Now choose a name. And then I sync those up and in like 30 minutes, this whole place is secure. But now I gotta go shut this off and the girls called me. They've got like some sort of dance gymnastics competition thing that they put together that I need to go be the judge of. So you can't miss that. And whenever we move corn out of the center of bins, we like to turn the fans on for a couple nights and get some cold air. My lens isn't open all the way. Oh, there we go. And two. And these ones can go off because everything's cool in here now. Get rid of a little bit of noise. I get sick of hearing those fans run every year. What are you all doing? You guys busy? Don't look very busy. Well, that was certainly an amazing performance by the girls there. They worked very hard on that. Very unique choices in music, some amazing gymnastic dance type of moves, some flippy dips and some good stuff right there. By the way, they each won their divisions. We have a below six years old division and an above six year old division. And they were both the champions. <laughs> That never gets old for me or them. <laughs> now it is time to see that one, and this one. I'm gonna start pulling out of a different bin that we haven't pulled out of all fall yet and run about 5,000 bushels of it into this bin back here to get the center out of that. And then that bin will be clean. One of the big things you gotta be careful of when you start everything up in the cold is the belts. They're cold, they're stiff. Sometimes the snow will melt down and get inside the pulleys 
and you get ice in there and it's just a problem for everything. My switch is back here. So this bin being way back here where you can't see it and you can't see the belts running at all on it makes me a little more nervous. So I'm going to run it slow, go make sure everything's running into the bin correctly and then I'll be back to make sure this is still running correctly. Back and forth, back and forth, one of those deals. Everything looks good, so I'll speed it up and let it run for a bit. It's too cold out here. I'll let that transfer. Let's go finish this security system deal. There we go, 15 minutes later, I got everything. I got a smoke detector up there, got a glass break sensor, motion detector, panic button, freeze sensor warning. I gotta put the keypad in yet, but otherwise, now everybody will know when I walk in because it makes this cute little doo doo. See? Now, if anybody should happen to get past Anna because she's busy digesting the last person she ate, this thing will go off and it will call the police immediately, which is handy for us. Make sure you check out the URL posted here and down in the description for your 30% off and your free HD camera. Now, I gotta go check this bin, see where we're at. We're getting up there. There we go, good. One of the things we gotta do at the end of every year is take the clean out screens out of the bottom of the auger and we'll stack them inside the shack here. So basically there's just screens that come in and out here with no tools at the bottom of the dryer. That way, if you have a problem, you can get down in. Is that one froze or stuck? One hand is so difficult. You guys have no idea. That's what she said. Yeah, she might be froze. There. So this way, if there's a blockage down at the meter rolls, this is at the very bottom of the dryer where the corn slowly trickles down into the auger that's down in the bottom here. And that way, if there is an issue, we can get inside there and clean things out. They are stuck. I need a mallet. Got my camera dirty on that one. And now, and now fogged up. Anyway, there are 24 of these total that I will now be removing. Look at those things flying, boys and girls. Oh, they are on the move. If I had a shotgun on me right now, we would have supper. All right, those are out. Probably better check that now before I end up with a, another mess to shovel up. Five minutes. Right inside here is an example of a blockage that we had. It's not surprising at all. I'd actually be more surprised if I didn't see any of it, but the rest of them were all clean, all good. It's just one of those things that happens. Who knows how long it was there. We lose a little bit of efficiency out of that. Some years when you have poor quality corn, you get a lot of that and you gotta clean these out fairly frequently, but we ran all season without taking any of them out. That's not bad. A Little bit of chaff gets built up in there. Most of this is stuff that gets picked up in the wind and ends up in the grain cart, and then it ends up here. We'll clean it out and let the squirrels eat it. And pull the moisture sensor out of here, which I forgot to do last year, so we got lucky that it still worked. It's frozen. Okay, like everything else. Uh, that isn't not gonna do it. I would never make a good cheerleader. And I'm gonna call it close enough on the bin back here before I end up with a mess. It's not worth it. Now between this and the corn that we hauled out, all of our bins have been cored. I'm gonna turn the fans on in that bin. I missed the sunset for you guys, but it was pretty awesome. Pretty red sky at nightish. Found out where we hid them in Daco. This one too. And now, to open the whole main bottom of the dryer so that it can be clear. And that's gonna be stuck shut too. Yeah, that doesn't wanna move either. Everything's more of a pain in the cold. For 15 months out of the year in Minnesota, everything is always frozen stuck. Did you want to do this? No? You are going to come down here with me though, huh? All right, let's see. Let's see where we're stuck here. So. Okay, so there's a split there. Mm. I 
got a hammer there. I need to get there, not here. My bad. Oh, this is a crummy pry bar. That might be for another day. I'm guessing it'll fall open on a warm day. She's froze. All the way across. Another day. Ideally, yeah, all that stuff should be opened up and cleaned out and shoveled away before we wash the dryer, but you know, timing, weather, Minnesota, reality. This is always kind of bittersweet. Dryer off for the season. Weird communication error. Eh, maybe I'll leave that and test the trucks. I hate how dark, how quickly it gets dark out now. But maybe it's a good thing because it kind of halfway forces me to go in the house because I feel like it's nine o'clock at night when it's it's really like three o'clock in the afternoon. Somebody named Zach left all the shields for the combine laying way down in there but it's covered in snow and I don't trust that it, the dually or my pickup would get in and out of there very well but Mighty Mo never lets us down. She's a little cold blooded like me. Would you look at that? That was easy. Got that job done. I'll cross that off the list. I want to say a couple things on the strip tiller and the air cart here before I pull the meters on it back here. Yeah, it gave me a hard time, but if you watch closely, I want to reiterate that the tiller itself did a dang good job once we adjusted those closers. It was just frustrating getting to that point. Once we got it, I really like the job that it does. The reason I really like the deer one you know, number one, we have a lot of deer equipment. We have a deer dealer close by. I work with their equipment. The software works well with what we've got. And we own this John Deere air cart, which this is what was giving me fits in the second video where I had frustrations. It was in this 10 year old air cart that we own where I don't really have a ton of experience with it. And I did a poor job of looking for air leaks in other areas, which I still haven't done because well, we're done with it and it's cold out and I'm mad at it. So I'll get to that point, but we're done with it for the year. I've got to drop, there's, there's maybe 30 pounds of fertilizer in the back yet. I'll drop that, I'll pull the meters out, clean those up really good, and we'll park this thing. But honestly, guys, I'm, I'm thinking about buying this. Um, I don't know what more to say. I'm, I'm still thinking on it, but I like the job that it did enough and it works enough with our equipment on our farm that if I was gonna ever move in that direction, this would be where I would go at least to start with. Honestly, I gotta go in in about 15 minutes anyway, so I think I'm gonna call it a night. I've got a Zoom meeting with a fraternity, an egg fraternity down in, uh, in Iowa, so I'm gonna talk to them, have supper with them via Zoom and see what's going on down in Iowa. I didn't get nearly as much done today as I was hoping. That's not uncommon. Oh, final thoughts on the day. I mentioned earlier in the video that we were getting ready to figure out chemical orders and seed orders and that kind of thing. FBN right now is having their Cyber November sale that is going through November 24th. You can get the cheapest deals on the chemical prices right now. You can go on there and see what the market average is and uh, for each product and they'll give you the apples to apples comparison. We saved a lot of money doing that last year. Also membership now is free. So you cannot save $100 by mentioning me, using me as a reference, because membership is free. You have access to everything. So go to FBN, sign up. They should be linked down below. Cyber November deals through the 24th, as cheap as it's gonna get, and 0% interest financing, which I've checked everywhere and I can't find any cheaper than zero. So if you're one of those farmers, you don't just buy everything in cash right away, 0% financing is pretty solid. Check it out. Just something to think about. One of you peed on the floor, and I am not happy about that. I really gotta clean this place up soon. Once it gets about 10 degrees colder, I'll make up all kinds of excuses to stay inside, and one of those will be cleaning the shop. That's it. 
I'm out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》